language is an heirloom that we inherit from our ancestors. Even when languages become endangered, we sometimes maintain words that we learn from our parents and grandparents. I feel like every Judeo-Arabic word I learn is very precious. What I'm trying to do as I'm learning it now is, is, is try and make it very, very personal and take it to my heart because I know that's the language of my grandmother and every word reminds me of her. This is Heritage Words, a podcast about how we engage with our ancestral languages in new and creative ways. One of my favorites that my mom always uses with us no matter what, and um, I think it's also, it's a similar word in, in Farsi, but it's jonam. Jonam is like, um, you would say, like my soul, my love, my sweet. When I was a kid, the stuff you were called growing up, stop being such a jambas, right? Stop being such a crazy character, right? Put on your braga. Nobody used the word underwear growing up, right? It was only braga. I'm your host, Sarah Bunin Benor. In each episode, I'll interview someone who has a connection to an ancestral language they don't fully speak. I'm a professor at Hebrew Union College Jewish Institute of Religion, where I founded the Jewish Language Project. We raise awareness about Jewish diversity through the lens of language. Our educational resources include curricula, exhibits, crowdsourced dictionaries, and this podcast. Sorboshi means thank you, but the root of the word Sorboshi means may you live a long life because Sor Sori means life and Boshi means may you be, like may you be alive. So, one of my favorite words is Ashtidak. It means bless your hands, and it's what you say when you've eaten a meal and you want to compliment the, the cook, the hostess, and I just love that. There's something so beautiful about recognizing that a meal comes from someone's hands. You've probably heard of a few Jewish languages, Hebrew, Yiddish, maybe Ladino, but what about Juhuri, Jewish Neo-Aramaic, and Judeo-Arabic? Wherever Jews have lived, they've adopted the local language and made it distinctly Jewish by blending in Hebrew words and distinctive grammar. Many of these languages are now endangered, but they live on through heritage words. Pishar is the best. Pishar means to pee. And like everybody, everybody I spoke to them in Mexico City, whatever their ancestral language was, they claimed Pishar. <laughs> so like, what, what Yiddish words do you use? And they'd say Pishar. And they'd say, what Ladino words do you use? They'd say Pishar. What Arabic words do you use? They'd say Pishar. If you did something really foolish, you were called a katzen cup, a cat head, a head like a cat, which I think cats are very smart. Stay tuned for Heritage Words to hear conversations about the words we inherit and the meaning they bring to our lives. Now available on all podcast platforms.